topic was Pete, um, please give me a list of good carbohydrates. I'm a little frustrated right now. I'm not feeling good in energy in my workouts and I want to lose this gut. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Pete from PeteIsaac.com. Thank you for coming out. And a question came in, and I'm glad you guys are asking these questions, because obviously then I wouldn't have much to talk about, right? I'll just talk about the same thing over and over again. So anyway, on to the subject was, Pete, um, please give me a list of good carbohydrates. I'm a little frustrated right now. I'm not feeling good in energy in my workouts, and I want to lose this gut. Okay, so if you rephrase that question, there's two different parts to that question, okay? You got to think about your goal specific, because there's two goals there. One goal is sports specific and performance, and the other one is aesthetics, which is gut, right? The other one is performance, which are good carbs before my workout. So there is a, a big play in what you, you do there. To be honest with you, that all depends on the time you work out. So if you work out in the morning, to be honest with you, I don't like personally taking in food before I work out. It just doesn't, I don't feel good. Like it makes me feel heavy inside. I feel like I'm going to vomit. I don't like having uh, any type of sources of um, food inside my body. Now, if you want to, just to spike up your energy level a little bit, a nice liquid drink would be fine. A Gatorade is perfect. Some people say, what are you talking about? Gatorade? That's all sugar. Yeah, but I'm using that Gatorade for performance. I want to make sure I perform to an optimal level and or if I pass out, then I'll take in those simple, quick sugars. You could also use a fruit juice, but you know that's all up to you and your, your choice of... Uh, of, uh, of supplementation. You could also use what they have, uh, CarboForce, and um, there's another one out that I just tried, uh, Cytomax. A lot of runners use these um, quick carbohydrates will are, which are full of malodextrin and uh, dextrose to really spike up your sugar levels to make sure that you have a longer uh, sustaining workout. That all depends on that. Now, in order for your gut to lose weight, those are two different plates, okay? Um, <clears throat> most of gut work or losing fat is your diet. And I'm not gonna, you know, walk around the fucking block. I don't know what that meant. What's that mean? I'm, I'm not gonna walk around the block and talk about that. No, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that working out's the only way it's gonna happen. Guys, in order to be aesthetically sound and feel better about your body, you have to get down to the nitty gritty of counting your calories. Now, it might be impossible for some people, but at the phase that it seems like that you're at, you're gonna have to really start counting and hold, have someone hold you accountable for what you're doing nutritionally. Because if you're not seeing results in that area, but you're working out like a monster and you're doing great and doing good and getting stronger, then the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to frustrate yourself because you're trying to do something that you don't know what to do. That's like taking on a mechanic job when you have no idea what the engine looks like inside. You have no idea what, what to do with the engine. What's an alternator? What's a uh, flux capacitor? I don't know. So those are two different spectrums. So good carbohydrates to take in before your workout. I say if you're a morning person, try to do whatever you can. If not, have a liquid drink uh, to, to have uh, uh, during your workout and or before if you really need it. Um, if you're a nighttime person, then having a pre-workout shake would be perfect, which is like a, a mix of protein with carbohydrates and then maybe continue to drink it during the workout and then of course your post-workout nutrition is always important okay i'm not one to push any supplements on people but when it comes down to time that uh you need it then you can do whatever you want that's your choice you know it's your choice of supplementation or do you want to eat a piece of fruit i you know that's up to you if you can eat food then i would always eat food and always something real but if you don't have the time for it and you can't then supplement it up and do whatever you got to do as for the gut, you got to make sure your calories are on point, your macronutrient counts are on point, your cardio, and you're not overworking yourself and making sure everything is in fine detail. Now, if that's a phase that you might not be ready for, eating a high protein diet, uh, minimal on the carbohydrates, not no carbohydrates, you need them at times, guys, especially pre-workout, post-workout, and sometimes even during the day, depending on who you are, all right? But you want to keep them low and don't eliminate carbohydrates completely because your, your body needs it. Okay, I don't, I don't care what anyone says. I've lived it. I've done it. I've done no carbs. I've done high carbs. I've done carb cycle. I've done it. And it just doesn't matter. It's just learning the balance and finding the thing that works out for you. Guys, if you have any more questions, uh, hit me up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. This is Pete, PeteIsp.com. Peace out, guys. This is Ask Your Question Wednesdays.